guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I'm the owner and creator behind Being a Bliss. And I do all handmade baby clothing, birthday shirts, blankets, you name it. But today we're gonna focus on the SWF 12 needle. This is a beautiful machine. I've had so many people ask me about threading. So that is the focus on this video, is how to thread this machine. So if you are someone who is in the market to buy one, or if you already have one and just cannot figure out how to thread it, please continue with this video. I'm gonna show you in an in-depth detail on how I thread it. If you are new to my page, please consider subscribing like this video and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to see is this thread rack. I have all of my threads on here. You can use big cones, small cones, whatever you desire. Next, you're going to see these little tube-like things. That is where you're gonna put your thread through. Then you're gonna see these little tension discs all the way down, and this is where all of your tension takes place. Here is a view from the front of it. As I was saying, all of this right here is where all the tension dials are. You're gonna then bring your thread down through the lever and then down through the needle. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, so please stay tuned. So quick tip before I get started. I have had a lot of people ask, what is the easiest way to pull your thread through these tubes? And one of my other machines came with a tool that was very useful that I use on all my machines. So I wanted to show this with you in case your, one of your machines or any of your machines didn't come with it. This is simply just a wire. It's very long and it is looped around the back. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little like one inch or three quarters of an inch loop. And that is so you can stick this up the back of the tube wrap your thread and pull it through. So I'm gonna get it up close so that you can see what I'm doing, but before I had started, I wanted to show you about this tool. It's so smart and I want all of you guys to have this so you're not fussing with getting your thread through those tubes. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is unattach this. I'm gonna cut off the thread because I want you to see me do it from start to finish. I'm gonna pull my thread out from the bottom of my machine just so that you guys can see a fresh start from start to finish on how to thread this machine. So now, if you don't have any cones on here, let's just say mine are all empty, this is how you're gonna do every single one exactly the same. Choose what color you want. I'm choosing black because that's what I already had on here. Now you're going to see these tube-like things. What you're gonna to wanna to do is actually unattach it. This is how I did it. Again, everyone knows I'm self-taught and I just teach you guys the way that I do things um, in case you wanna take any of it and run with it. If not, there's always different ways to do it. This is again, just the way that I do it. So again, you're gonna take this off and what I like to do is stick this little wire that I have, finding where the loop is, through the bottom. And you're gonna follow it all the way through to the top. You're then going to take your thread and you're going to put it behind here, if I can get that through. You're gonna pull it through. I have my needles numbered you're going to then pull your thread through that loop, leaving enough hanging so it doesn't slip out. And then you're going to pull it through. See how much easier that was with that tool rather than trying to sit there and get it through all these little springs in here. So then what I do is just reattach my tubing on here. You just simply roll it. It's not that hard is roll it on there. And then because you have thread hanging out the bottom right here on the tube, you're gonna wanna first slip that through here. This is where the tube is going to be. So pull it through there and then reattach this part, the little tab sticking out, whatever you wanna call it. So you just roll it on there making sure it's nice and snug. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do 
is it's going to go under these discs right here. So the next part is you'll see these little silver discs right here. If you lift them up, you'll see a little slit. That's where you're gonna wanna put your thread. So this machine, I have my slit on the left hand side. You're gonna grab your thread and you're just gonna slide it through and you'll hear a click. Once you hear that click, make sure your thread is nice and tight. Now you're gonna go back on the right side. Everything after this is gonna be done on the right side of the discs. Any of these tension discs, it's gonna go down the right side. So I'm gonna go back the right around the right side and on this white one, just these white ones right here, you're gonna go around two times. So one, and two. You're gonna go back again, down the right side, and in, in, in between this disc right here, so you'll see there's a little space right here in this silver disc, you're gonna go around one and a half times. So there's one, making sure you get in that little space. And then when you get up to this little metal like bracket right here, you're gonna pull it down through there. There's a little like loop in there that you can pull your thread through. So you should be able to bounce it up and down very gently like this. I'm not even tugging on it, I'm just barely pulling and it's going up and down. That's how it should be. Next part is this little hook right here. You're gonna grab your thread and slide it underneath the hook on the right side over here. You'll hear it snap in place, and then the same thing going down. Snap it in place right here. And every single needle has its own. Okay, now once you get it through this last hook right here, you're going to see little holes on top right here of each number. You're then going to put your thread through the hole on the very top of the machine. So I'm gonna put it through that hole and I'm gonna bring it down. Just like that. Now the next step is you're going to see three holes on each number. Each thread number gets three of these holes. You're gonna start from the back. You're gonna pull your thread through the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's pulled through the back, I'm going to then loop it up over this silver bar and up through the front hole right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So now you can see it's looped up right there. Now what I'm gonna do is pull this up to my lever up here and put it through that hole. So let's do that. It's gonna go through this hole right here. And now that it's through that one, we're gonna pull it back down through the back hole. And this might sound confusing, but once you do it a few times, it becomes very simple and fast. So now that you've done all three of these holes, this bar right here lifts up. So I like to lift it up out of my way when I'm threading or changing needles. You're gonna go down through this hole right here next. So you're gonna pull it through. And you're basically done threading. As long as you feel like it's pulling nicely and it's not getting stuck, you don't have to mess with anything else at this point. All you have to do is tuck it behind the hook in the back of the needle, which I'll show you really quick. Okay, so after you've pulled it through this hole right here, you'll see these little hooks behind the needle plate, or I'm sorry, behind the needle. You're just going to take your pointer finger and I just loop it around the back of that hook and as long as you're behind there, then you're good to thread your needle. I like to use this little tool right here and you just simply slide it in the slot, come behind the needle where the hole is and you just pull it through the hole. And then back here, you'll see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little loop. That's where it went through the needle, the eye of the needle. And I then take this little hook that's on here and you pull the thread through. 
And now that your needle is threaded, what you're gonna wanna do is pull your thread through this little hole and pull it down. And then after that, I loop it up into this spring and I just cut it off, leaving about an inch and a half of thread up on top. Put down your bar where your lights are, snap it in place, and that's it. That's how you thread the machine. Okay guys, it's so simple. I hope that helped you all so much with threading your new machine. And as always, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Do not hesitate. I will answer any of the questions that you guys have to the best of my ability. You guys all know that I'm self-taught and it's just trial and error on my end. So as much knowledge as I have, I will give you on what I know and you can take it or leave it. But I love you guys all so much and I'm so glad that you guys are here and watch this video. Don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one.